Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut right. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Dab on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Dab right. on that bell. Welcome to Heat Wave. I'm your host, Michelle Belcher, and I'm joined with Brittany Saturn. At the hip. Cheers, Mitchell. <laughs> I'm here. And it's the Hutch Hutcherson. Ah, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to say your first name, Chris. I just went right to It's the Hutch. It's the Hutch. Hutch, 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 Hutch. That might as well be my name. This is Hutch the Hutchinson Hutchinson. It's Hutch. the Hutch, comma, Hutchington. It's the Hutch Hutcherson, comma, Chris. That's right. So we should probably explain why it's so weird right now. Yeah, um, it's really weird right now because... Um, we're it's just me and Brittany in on at on set and we have Jairus and Hutch <laughs> calling set. in. Set. And by <laughs> the set that it, set? Hey! I'm trying to, I'm trying over here. <laughs> I'm trying to do an honest podcast. It's hardly but just- here we are. It, uh, Brittany and I are joined by these wonderful pictures of Jairus and Hutch. Uh, and they're going to uh, have just their images talk to us for the rest of the podcast. Jairus, what is yeah. that it's, face you're making, man? It's very interesting. Uh, it's my yeah. I smelled something funny face. <laughs> okay, yeah. I can't wait to get these pictures from you, too. Fucking Hutch, why is one of your eyes closed? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just Photoshop Hutch with an eye patch? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Perfect. I, well, now yeah. I want to look for an eye patch over here. I have one. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, I'm wearing one. Perfect. That's right. That's right. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, like he, you found one. It's on your head, Hutch. Exactly. Hutch is we... getting really into gold cougar ants right now. <laughs> I don't even know I what mean... that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a South African gold coin. Ah. Oh. And it's a thing that fancy people slash criminals use. I guess. Uh, fancy people are criminals that's right i, I think this like is jerris mitchell because fan it sounds fiction. like cougar and ant cougar ant well yeah. jerris does this lead into your first topic am i going first yeah yes. you said you were going first <laughs> <laughs> you have yeah. 15 minutes the timer so, is going <laughs> so my my for my section i just want to ask hey how are y'all doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Eh. Yeah, it you know it's okay. I, I'm only the only person I've seen in days is Brittany, so that's been fun. <laughs> I went to work today, so I got to see some people. I I have not left my house uh, except for maybe three times to go to the grocery store. Um, <laughs> three have, times you barely <laughs> eat. I, I, I you know what? It's a great point. Uh, you know what? We just needed like bar hutch from the grocery store now. That way he will no longer eat. <laughs> no, that equals <laughs> hutch corpse. No, no. Just like we'll just he'll eat Jungle Boy eventually. It's lean meat. It's really good for him. I'll eat Jungle Boy if I eat his vegetables. <laughs> That's basically how it goes. I think <laughs> if Hutch tried to do that, Jugs would just bench press him. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I could see Jugs doing that to get out of a sticky situation. Yeah, <laughs> just just pushing, <laughs> pushing forwards and lifting. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised we haven't done a bit yet where he bench presses me in some manner. Well, it's time to try that now. That's someone's fetish. It is. Mm. But yeah, Strong Jairus, how are you doing? Lift boy. <laughs> I'm I'm good. Uh, yeah, I mean. Like, in the wake of all of the weird medical shit. Like, uh, I don't think it's any surprise to our viewers that we record these ahead of time. Yeah. (laughs) So, like, I have no fucking clue when this comes out, like, what the world is going to look like. So, hey, what's up? This is is going to be surprisingly our most timely episode because this is going out next week. Yeah. Okay. Well, I still don't fucking know what the world is going to look like then. Yeah, we really like, don't. Right it changes now, every, day. every day is totally different. So, 
Yeah. Um, it's been a crazy world. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the lady friend left the house yesterday to get groceries. Um, okay. And got some groceries. Aside from that, I'm just working from home. I mean, yeah, so... Like, all of us have worked from home to, to varying degrees. I guess, Hutch, are you still doing fine with working from home? And Michelle, are you still fine? Or is it harder now that you have a job that you don't have to go to? Um, Hutch, I'll let you start. Uh, it's a little harder. Um, I have it's easier for me to lose focus when I'm not in the office and that's happened oh, yeah. a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, it never used to be this way. I don't know. I think like, as I've gotten older, like my, maybe I'm just easier to stray, I guess. So, um, <clears throat> I'm still getting things done, but you know, I've got two, uh, I think one of my problem is I don't optimize my time. Well, so I end up working later hours. Like mm. part of my reason my sleep schedule got so fucked is because I was working like sometimes like from 12 to maybe four or five, like mm. some stuff. I also have team or PM AM. So Big put, put the times between those statements. So 12 in the afternoon to five in the morning. Uh, no, like twelve a.m. to five a.m. Oh, okay. I, okay. I have I have some teammates there, that work at those hours too, so that's part. There of There are different levels of oof, and you were if you were working twelve hours plus five, I'd be like, <laughs> "What the fuck? How bad are you at managing time?" <laughs> no, oh no, it's not like that. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I, well, Sorry. I'm actually really, I'm really enjoying working from home. To be completely honest, uh, I'm way more productive, mm. and uh, that's mostly because when I'm at work, uh, there's just a lot of socializing going on. Now, yeah. granted, when I do get done with my work here, I'm done, and I Animal Crossing has came out, and I'm just playing a shit ton of Animal Crossing. So as you should. <laughs> And that's been occupying, honestly, most of my time. It's been kind of an amazing time to be a gamer. I've been playing a lot of Fancy Star Online 2. I've been playing a lot of Doom Ultimate. Uh, I've been playing Animal Crossing. You're sounding so, like a Nintendo E3 announcement. I feel like a Nintendo <laughs> E3 announcement. Like, it's been a magical time video game-wise. They had a lot of really fantastic <laughs> games come out at the best possible time for a lot of people to play them. So for me, working from home is not a thing. If I'm home, I'm not working at all because I work yeah. in the shipping department. Um, we split up and we have skeleton crews working, uh, rotating shifts. So my my schedule, I work Thursday through Saturday, and then I'm off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, however, we I know this is coming out a week late, so this is this might last be, week, yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wink, wink. We um, don't know if this is happening for my, sure yet. Anyways. My last day is supposedly the twenty. What is today? It'll be. It's going to be the twenty seventh. <clears throat> is my last day, but we like we have to be there in the office, but we don't have anything to do right now. Like today, we played hacky sack, and we took like a long lunch, and then we all did a bunch of push ups. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch oh, yeah. of challenges going on. I didn't do any. I just watched. I I judged everyone. So because <laughs> <laughs> they're all a bunch of dumb boys that I work with. So yeah. <laughs> I do miss. Uh, so Brittany and I work at the same place, and it's really strange that like she gets to see some of our friends that we both have, and I have to stick behind. But I do sometimes really wish I could come to work just to be like, just do the like conversational like hang out yeah social i stuff. like going to work it's actually driving me crazy that <clears throat> i can't go to work um i like going out i like seeing everyone i like talking yeah. to everyone so it's kind of driving me crazy <clears throat> that i have to stay home um I, I i'm mostly okay with it but like if we didn't have anything to do or play like if i didn't have any side projects going on i would lose my damn mind yeah and I'm also extremely lucky that I have you as a quarantine buddy. Yeah. And, like, I, we have several coworkers who live alone, and they're going through a time right now. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I can imagine. So. 
I, I gotta uh, tell you, and, I've gotten a lot of uh, Netflix and uh, video games in. Mm-hmm, it's been nice. Mm-hmm. And cleaning and organizing. <laughs> my my living room is uh, rather than chaos. It's organized chaos now. So <laughs> yeah, ours is barely nice. put together right yeah. at the moment. Well, that leads into my next segment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys, I don't know if. If Fuck you the want to go ahead and, Let's go. and move on to mine. Let's go. Yeah, what not? Go ahead. Do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hey, welcome back. Uh, my segment is about <laughs> the things that we're doing to occupy ourselves here in the quarantine. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I will start my job. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Got us, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing very much. Well, work. now I feel bad for having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just feel pity for Jairus. My job, also cooking and Animal Crossing, even though I've fallen off and haven't done a good job playing it for the last couple days. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah, I've been yeah. playing Animal Crossing pretty heavily. I already own Nook 348,000 bells. Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> That's a lot of peaches. <laughs> <laughs> My lady friend and I set up our islands so that we could trade. Um, and all we did was just go to each other's island, fill our inventories with each other's fruits, go back to our island, sell them, and then just like do that back and forth until we could pay off our mortgage. Nice. Yep. That's how you do it. So Brittany and I actually have the exact same fruit Oof. on our islands. Yeah, it sucked. So we're oh, lucky in regards that I actually have a third switch. <laughs> and I bought a physical copy because I wanted a physical copy. And I put it in that switch. Yep. <laughs> so now I have an always online town that's in the southern hemisphere. And it's like 12 hours ahead. So when it's night uh, here, it's daytime there. So the shop's always open. So that's so Michelle this trying to speed run this shit. Trying to like fucking, pro strats that bullshit. Hey, I'm not time traveling at least. This Switch was bought with like the intention of, oh, we're going to sell the old Switch to pay for the new Switch. Yeah. And then when we got the new Switch, she was like, mm, I'm going to keep them both. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you I knew like, that. <laughs> You yeah, knew I knew that. that. How how long did you operate under the false assumption that she was actually going to sell the other one? I don't know. I'm. I feel like such a fool all the time. <laughs> I just put on some fucking fucking clown makeup. <laughs> put on some big dumb shoes and just stomp around the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, squirt mm-hmm. myself hey. in the face with those water flowers. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? I can relate. I told it's myself I'm going to wait well, to get do maternal, I, and then. And then I I had it come in today. Oh man, Barkley! I almost said the words, uh, "You're gonna get a cream pie to the face," and then I was like, mm. <laughs> uh, "But it was so no. ungood that I had to let you know that like that That's was the too- thing." I'm so happy. That's, I'm so happy that you still brought it up. That's though. too hot for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's too too hot for you two. So Hutch, you mentioned that you've been cleaning in the previous segment. Tell us more about that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell so, us more about your cleaning. <laughs> oh god. But slower. So Yeah, but it's slower. <laughs> I yeah, so this place was just a mess because I built my new like uh, mega desk thing here. Um which is mm. great. what is a mega desk? <laughs> it's a desk that uh has a motor and it goes up and down. Oh, oh and, you mean a sit yeah. to stand desk? Yes, not a but mega well, desk. well, it's, it's pretty it, fucking huge. It's, I've seen it's his a new seventy-two desk. inch desk. It's it's kind of mega. Damn. Um, well, I was hoping that it was a desk built on top of another desk, <laughs> 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 and you had to sit on a ladder. <laughs> but this is also this good. Is, <laughs> this is not quite the office. <laughs> I was hoping it was a bunch of dinosaurs, like robotic dinosaurs, that form together into your desk. I mean, yes. <laughs> Only if one of them was a pterodactyl, and the pterodactyl wings spread out to be your desk. Mm, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. totally in for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I've got like these freaking so much shit clamped onto this desk. It might as well be there. 
<laughs> mm. with my, my I'm concerned tool. about your desk setup, bud. Like, I've got shit clamped to it. That's not... <laughs> like, I have one thing clamped to my sit-to-stand desk, and it's a monitor stand. I have one no. of those, but then I've got... <laughs> I have... Welcome I've... to our new segment, What Does Hutch Have Clamped to His Desk? <laughs> I'm ready for this because I know what he has. <laughs> I want to I keep him honest. I have a, a microphone arm in addition to the mm-hmm. monitor arm. I also have two Elgato key lights for my screen Ooh. lighting setup. And that's really it. But it's more than yeah. you would expect. It's more than the average Joe. <laughs> it it, it looks like a lot me. more. I thought you were going to have, like, a two liter of Mountain Dew. I thought you were going to have just, like, a bunch of cheese for some reason clamped to it. Oh, man. Oh, now I, I want Cheese Whiz. I've cheese got, whiz. I've got headphones, I don't know why. a headphone stand clamped to my desk, too. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. A headphone stand. You fucking liar. <laughs> no, he's not lying. No, he betrayed get... me. He said, and that was it. And that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. This, yeah. this, this is the Hutch heel turn that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> you we should all get it happen uh, eventually. Yes. You should get one of those banana keepers, like a banana stand, and put like a <laughs> hang a bunch of bananas from your desk too. <laughs> can really we just add? Going. Can we just add more stuff to your desk? <laughs> just add more and more banana keepers to his desk. Oh. <laughs> Like yeah. a reverse so, Jenga situation. Mm-hmm. So what's funny about this desk is, uh, if I, ha- I so if I got a, a, a different version of it, I could lift it all the way up and hook up a hammock, and so like ha- just like <laughs> nap under my desk if I wanted to. You should do that. I can't do it. Yeah. The one I've you got is how much you. money on that desk, and you didn't upgrade to the fucking hammock Dude, version. Walmart has hammocks no, for fifteen dollars. I- <laughs> I upgraded to one that's that's uh, more expensive. It's got like a crossbar, so it's supposed to be sturdier. So because the crossbar so you can do can't... pull ups on it, yes. <laughs> I'm getting so small. This really right is now. a mega desk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about this desk. They they sell oh. so much stupid shit that you can attach to it. It's pretty nuts. Also, he can wear it like an exoskeleton and fight <laughs> alien queens. <laughs> mm-hmm. Beautiful. I, yes, I mean it's on casters, like industrial casters, <laughs> so I can roll it out to any any Emmy I have. And, uh, yeah. Are you Hush, going to this, to- please tell me this- when you're going to Tokyo Drift your desk. <laughs> <laughs> we could attach I, I, a steering wheel to it. When, 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 I I have uh, objections. I think that Hutch is now in the pocket of big desk, <laughs> <laughs> and he's leveraging our shitty podcast slash YouTube thing to to sell more desk. Everyone got that sponsorship. needs to retire their laps, upgrade mm-hmm. to a desk. Brittany, I just didn't even know is... what a table was until he got desk. Yeah. <laughs> Brittany, we're going you know what we're gonna have to do, right? We're gonna have to throw both of our desks out the window tonight and oh, go yeah. buy these like standing desks. For sure. Set them on fire. Trade yeah, your two mega desk, desk excuse me. for one desk. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll no, bring can't. the marshmallows and I'll stand six feet away from you. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, I do miss seeing these guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> so yeah, I've also been cleaning and <laughs> I've been cross stitching like crazy. Yeah, I tried have. to go to Joanne's today, and they were like, "Uh, are you trying to come into the store?" I was like, "Yeah," and they're like, "We're closed." <laughs> Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was just a hobo who was standing outside the store. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get past the Joanne bouncer? I can't believe it. Uh, I couldn't. She was mean, but I just, I guess I'm going to make patterns and fabric orders. Nobody moved. <laughs> just going to have to order everything. Yeah, I'm just going to have to order it. So that sucks. I don't want to wait. But I don't know. It is what it is. Yeah, the only thing I've really been working on has been uh, the Animal Crossing stuff. I've been uh, I streamed today actually for work. Uh, I did my first uh, uh, two hour stream for work, which was really nice. I had a bunch of people tune in and hang out. I got to play 
uh panzer dragoon got announced today uh, in real time and i got to play it uh because work is doing a physical copy of it crab ragoon crab ragoon that's what i call it <laughs> and it was a lot of fun so i had a really good time doing that um but yeah, mostly I've just been, I've, I actually feel like I have time to do all the things now instead of being like constantly pushed to do all the things. Like yeah. I have the time to like actually relax some and play video games. So it's just the, the, probably the first time I've played video games in about three or four months. Nice. So. What about you, Jairus? You said working. You just got to be more. Yeah. Different. Yeah. I mean, like. <laughs> I, I still have my job and my job doesn't care. Um, mm. So that's that's the big thing. Well, it does care, but, you know, got to maximize shareholder value. Yeah, uh, I think I don't think we're nearly as bad as you are in that regard. But our work is very like our our boss is like, we're going to work until the minute the government tells us not to. Yeah. And we yeah. even submitted submitted paperwork to see if we could continue to work. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, These wow. nerds don't touch anyone. <laughs> Just let them keep working. They have no infection yeah. risk. Um, Pretty much. <laughs> no, I've, I've actually, uh, because of garbage immune systems, I've been working from home about a week longer than other people have. Mm-hmm. Um, and aside from that, just cooking and cleaning and uh, watching shit on the netflix and playing uh animal crossing by the way Brittany, uh yes considering one of the most recent episodes that we recorded you should watch tiger king on netflix i already watched it okay good because i was watching that whole fucking thing thinking about I... you binged it <laughs> I, every, I, I it, got really high and watched that show it was just like <laughs> so like i was like oh my god i can't believe this yeah and i, I was so around fucking and, like, in for all these like <laughs> left turns <laughs> my favorite and this is kind of a spoiler but i'm gonna say it anyway my favorite line in the entire series is that they met their murder for hire at an applebee's <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Brittany would come amazing. to me at the end of every episode and be like, "This fucking happened, dude. This fucking <laughs> shit right no, here." Sure, you didn't watch it? <clears throat> no, she will never watch it. Either, I hate so shit like that. I had to give what her the the, uh, the breakdown. <laughs> uh, Brittany, I have a question. Did okay. you and Chris actually listen to any of his music videos today? No, but we talked about it. Okay, because I know that you were planning on doing that yeah. at work today. Yeah. So Chris at work also was really into that show, and we were like, "We have to put the music videos up on the TV while we work." Mm-hmm. So maybe tomorrow. <laughs> when, yeah, I when I was watching that, he like it got to the point where it was talking about him on John Oliver, and I was yes. like, "Oh shit, I saw this! I saw this and briefly <laughs> went down a rabbit hole. I forgot that I briefly went down a YouTube rabbit hole looking up Joe Exotic, and Joe and, Exotic, <laughs> and just just remembered it. Just sitting there on the couch, I was like, huh, yeah, <laughs> that." is definitely a thing that I would juju and just like look at yep. and try and figure out what the fuck is going on in this world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean the whole the whole topic of that is batshit insane. And the the guy the, like the whole story I'm surprised honestly Brittany I'm surprised you didn't make this your topic to be completely honest. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> yeah, well, it like, is now, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yeah, so cuz he was like for a day and a half just obsessed with it. Yeah, it was amazing. It was I think it was like episode 3 where it took the turn and I was like what the fuck. Where it, where it starts I talking heard- about the murder. Yeah, yeah, for the 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 lady who runs the big cat rescue, they're like, yeah. she murdered her husband and fed him to the tigers, and then it was like the the fucking episode just ended, and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hutch, do you know what we're talking about? I I yeah, yeah it's the new thing on Netflix. I haven't seen it, yeah. but I I just you know sh- the dudes. Mo- uh, Watch it all in one sitting, Hutch. Okay, Hutch, if you like trashy people on oh, trashy yeah. TV. Oh, you will love this. It is amazing. Also, if you like true crime podcasts. It also has me convinced that Oklahoma is the Florida of the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> You're 
you're right. They both have panhandles. <laughs> yeah, they both have panhandles, so. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'll check yeah. it out. Well, I think that's pretty much we're pretty good. Yeah, there. we have thirty seconds left of this topic. So all right, well wow. bye everybody. We'll see you on bye. the next one. See you next time. Wanna see us perform live? Use that big brand of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hutch, bring the heat. Yep. The heat is hot, and it's the form of a brand new Nintendo Direct. A miniature. That's right. One. Whoa. Yeah. So uh, I know we all watched this except for Jairus. Did you watch the new t- Nintendo Direct today? Yep. <laughs> cool. This will be perfect. Oh, great. So <clears throat> I had work to do. You can't do both. I I, I can hear you <laughs> typing. <laughs> I'm doing Nintendo Direct. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so I woke up, I logged on Facebook, and our friend Jeff said, hey, surprise. And I was like, whoa, this is a surprise. So uh, they started off with Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, and mm-hmm. I, I have not played that yet, and it looks really nice. Isn't it the one that was on the Wii U? It was on the Wii, yeah. Uh, well, oh, so they, the had, they had a Wii. Wii U version called uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, but it's a different okay. standalone game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, they said that uh, Bioshock uh, one and two, and I think the pre sequel are coming to Switch. Uh, or excuse, <laughs> yeah. sorry, I got my names mixed up. That's uh, Borderlands. <laughs> Those are the Borderlands games. <laughs> I can't Those wait to play Bioshock the pre sequel. Yeah. <laughs> I am really excited about the Bioshock games coming to the Switch. I'm going to play them all again. So. Good excuse to play them again. I, I'm pretty sure those are your favorite first person shooter oh, games. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're really good. Um, I still don't know if we're talking about Bioshock or Borderlands. We're ta- uh, well, Brittany's talking about Bioshock. I'm talking about Bioshock. Borderlands is also oh, okay. coming to the Switch too. They're both coming to the Switch. So and okay. XCOM is coming as well. Which one? XCOM. Wait a minute! Yeah. I didn't catch the XCOM, X-com is coming. Too. Oh. So do, yeah. I'm and it made me think of the very first time I ever met Jairus. It was yeah. like at an XCOM party night. Yeah, that's right. And he told me I couldn't be there because I wasn't a man. So I painted I didn't. a mustache. I didn't. I'm pretty Sean sure he did. did. No, <laughs> oh, that was Sean. Sean. <laughs> okay. So I painted a mustache on my face. And I think Sean was like, acceptable. And then <laughs> <laughs> Jairus and I became best friends. <laughs> Michelle, are you ready for those rules to apply to you? I mean, if I need to wear a mustache, that's fine. <laughs> if that, I guess I'm going to have to like wear a suit and a mustache for yep. just one night of the year for <laughs> XCOM. Like, yep, you go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> like. <laughs> no shit, Jimmy. I was thinking about that earlier today. Like, well, hope we don't do another XCOM night. <laughs> I can change the rules if I'm the host. <laughs> That's true. Um, but yeah, no, I'm excited. I, I, uh, I watched it, but I was doing other stuff, and I totally missed out on XCOM 2. Mm-hmm. So yeah, That's awesome. I'm gonna, I still haven't played that one yet. So It's a lot of fun. Um, I so bought I, it two times. I still haven't played it. <laughs> oh, really? I'm yeah, I've got it on PC and Xbox. Huh, I'm surprised you that. I also <laughs> didn't realize that Mario vs. Rabbids was an XCOM esque game. Yeah, that so game I might awesome. have to fucking get it and play it. We have it. If yeah. you want to borrow it. Yeah. Yeah, That's let me be a criminal. Us. Let me download yeah. a car. For sure. <laughs> so I got a question for you guys. Are did any of okay. you play the new Pokemon games? Yes. Uh I, I started it. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Go, Jarrett. <laughs> no, uh, the Pokemon Short and Sealed for the Nintendo Switch. That's correct. Yes. Uh, yeah, I have Shield. Brittany has Sword. So they they announced an expansion pass with easily my favorite Pokemon that they just announced. <laughs> the name okay. is Cub Fu. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah, it's a uh, it's a it little. Was, uh, 
really cute. So Brittany was telling me about the uh, thing, and she was just like, they announced a feature with this fucking weird ass Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Pokemon is new or old. Um, it had an amazing name, and of course, I've forgotten it already. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm excited for it, but I still need to finish Shield. Like, I'm only like three hours into Shield right now, so. Like, there's plenty of content for me to still dive into before the other stuff comes out. Uh, that being said, of course, with all this Animal Crossing news, I was really excited about the Animal Crossing updates that they have. Because just last night, me and Brittany were lamenting the fact that Leaf is not in the new Animal Crossing. And then they were like, oh, we got another update coming. And it had a picture of Leaf with it. So I was like, okay, cool. They're going to have Leaf come back for Earth Day. Yeah, that, that I was really excited about that. So... Um, and I'm just, I, I, it's a little weird that they're doing the holidays as updates because the holidays were also already included with every other version of the game. But, uh, what's nice about this is that the holidays sound like they're going to be different every year now. So like Easter will be something this year and next year they'll do something different for Easter, which is pretty cool. They, they found a way to inject, um, their own brand of, uh, FOMO. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of that Pokemon, but it was like, um, it was one of the gigantic ones that you could encounter, uh, and it was, it looked like a huge pile of mud with junk stuck to it. Okay. And it had a really, it had a really funny name. It started with a G, but I forget it now. That's um, that's the Pokemon that I want to keep, just yeah. in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's your, uh, that's your buddy Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. What is that? A toaster? Oh, well, sure. I could probably use one of those. D- yeah, it had like a fucking dump truck stuck in it. Like it was huge. <laughs> like, that's it was like insane. its Blastoise's ev- level evolution. Is just it is a dump truck and it's riding the <laughs> yeah. dump truck. It's like a yes. Minotaur, but with a dump truck down there. It's like Centaur, if a Katamari. A if it's like a if a Katamari. Uh, melted (laughs) (laughs) into like a grimer but then also had all the stuff that you picked up in the katamari that's like what this pokemon is okay that's your problem right here you got your katamari a little too Too hot hot. (laughs) if you get those those things things above 80 degrees celsius or fahrenheit let's go with fahrenheit because i can visualize what that temperature is it'll just melt immediately Sorry, we weren't Great. listening to you because we were fighting over the timer. <laughs> just now, just now, set it to fifteen minutes, and I'm like, we're way more into this, so I put it on five. What are you, a fucking uh, cop? Uh, yes. Here's my badge. I'm a time cop. Watch my movie. Time cop. <laughs> what well, so well, what game were you? What game are you guys not looking forward to? <laughs> so. Uh, out of all of those games, the ones I care about the least was uh, probably Xenogears. Yeah. Xenogears or Bravely Default. I just don't give... I, I felt like Bravely Default was a neckbeard game. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It even has a neckbeard character. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's the personal offense to that. I bet he liked it and is also a neckbeard. Wow. Brittany, As Brittany a game really that I might JRPGs. actually play one of these days. <laughs> 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 well, let me know when you do, and I'll come over and judge you. <laughs> you can come over. I'm going to lock the door. And well, fine. I'll you know we have an hour to help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing the locks. Damn it. <laughs> uh, um, so one that I did want to mention that I was actually really excited to see uh, was uh, uh, Ninjala, is what it's called. Um, and it's it, is that Moncala for ninjas? <laughs> yes. Um, but it it's it gave me some some uh, Splatoon vibes. It's it, okay. It's, yeah, it's another one of those like four on four team battle sort of things. But you kind of you you're sneaking up and attacking you know other players as like ninja you can like transform into items and like kind of hide in weird sort of ways so it's a little bit of item hunt as well um that's cool yeah it looks really neat so uh their website isn't live and that pisses me off <laughs> mm. 
So the only game that like was a real surprise to me that like, was like a surprise excited game is the dumbest thing ever. They're coming out with uh, a collection of uh, board games. 51 board games? Yeah, yes. I was going to say. That one looks kind of cool. And uh, It's called Clubhouse Games, and I'm fucking getting it. Let I can't wait to play Mancala. No, it doesn't. It's it like doesn't. basic ass shit, like chess, checkers, man, uh, like uh, then a Mahjong. bunch of like Wii sports looking games. Yeah, Mahjong is in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, they, it's they, like they completely <laughs> repurposed some old like Wii uh, play and uh, Wii sports games. For mm-hmm. Actually, mm-hmm. if they I'm... made a Wii sports version of Mahjong, I would play mm-hmm. that. Well, that's what where that is. I love it's just like. <laughs> You said that, and I imagine you surrounded by, or by like, 85-year-old Chinese women just chain-smoking. <laughs> I just, like, fucking love Mahjong so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sometimes it's after true. a hard day at work, I'll come home and play some Mahjong Solitaire on my windows. XP. You do that. You'll come <laughs> home and play it on you your window. Your I gotta get PC. those. I gotta get my daily challenges in. <laughs> So my favorite thing is people sometimes come into our stream and they're like, play solitaire, and I will. Yeah. And I, it's one of my favorite <laughs> things to do is just play regular ass solitaire. One time I did it and I played solitaire VR, which actually has a story mode. What? Yeah. Like it was, like, it was a murder mystery game and I had to solve it with solitaire. It's like strip solitaire. It's so bizarre. <laughs> it's VR so, is weird. <laughs> yeah. I, I played strip know solitaire that. once. By yourself, <laughs> take it off your clothes. I, I, uh, this went in some weird places. I'm so happy it did. But yeah, Clubhouse Games is probably the game surprise game I'm looking forward to the most. My it's words 51 are just games. Brittany and I. Yeah, I know. And uh, they're online only, and I'm very excited. <laughs> I, I I tried the uh, the rhythm thing they announced uh, for we Ring Fit, uh, yeah, and that, that's pretty fun. It's definitely a workout. I'm just, gl- I'm just glaring at you because I really really want a Ring Fit adventure. Oh, do you have that, Hutch? Yeah, yeah, I had to. Uh, get... <laughs> He's got the game, but not the, <laughs> the controller. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really awkward over here. Oh really? You have the game, but not the controller? <laughs> no, I've got the control too. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Checks out to me. I feel yeah, like yeah. they sold out of that I'm, super fast. I wonder if GameStop would actually accept a game of Ring Fit Adventure without the accessory, because it really doesn't work without it. <laughs> I don't know. GameStop's wild. All right. Well, yeah, does anyone else got anything to say on Nintendo Direct? Because I'm good. Yeah. Hutch, no. Wow. Did you say, <laughs> Hutch, did you say that this... Ninjala looks like Splatoon because you read the GameSpot article about how it looks like Splatoon. The, no, I watched. Oh, okay. I watched the direct. Yeah, it, I was getting Splatoon vibes from it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently, someone else did too. Uh, yeah. Oh, is, is that okay? Let me GameSpot. Dot com. <laughs> now they're just looking things up on their computers. All right, well, bye everybody. We'll see you on the next segment. Bye. No, wait, 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 Hutch, wait, 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 wait. This is googling with Hutch. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Okay, wait. we're waiting. Okay, wait. I'm good. Bye, guys. Bye. bye. <laughs> you got the social medias. We got the social medias. You got the Facebooks. We got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters. We got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams. We don't really use that one too much, but you know we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hi, welcome back to Heat Wave. Uh, guess what? I'm a lady now. Actually, I've always been hey, a lady. Hey, congratulations! Hey, congratulations! 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 Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so fun fact, uh, these two already knew about this a few weeks ago. Uh, not Chew. pretty. I'm not, she didn't know. So she's uh, finding out right now. He said a few. Uh, a few. And um, so like, it's not like it's a surprise to, uh, anybody here, but uh, I figured just like I'm I'm explaining this to a lot more people in person. Pretty much everybody knows except for my parents <laughs> at this point. in person? <laughs> No, yes. I'm talking. I'm talking about other people in person. So I figured now, 
<laughs> that I am telling people in person, I would also include the YouTube channel and just like go ahead and just be honest with everybody here. Yeah. And yourself. Yes, and myself. <laughs> uh but no, it feels good finally. Um it's been it's been uh, about a two decade struggle, so it's nice to be me. Yeah, definitely. And you're mostly out at work now too yeah not mostly, uh, I mean, you are i'm out i'm out at work, I'm out yeah. at work. actually i i went uh, you sent out day, a fucking mass email to everybody <laughs> i sent out a mass email <laughs> i did it the day before we started quarantine so that like so like so you haven't first, had to make eye contact i haven't seen a single person since i came out it's great <laughs> <laughs> like they all were like oh okay great and were, everyone was super great at work not an issue at all and a great, uh, i've seen a couple a couple of people at work do know beforehand mm-hmm. or did know but um regardless it's been it's been fantastic it was a little nerve-wracking at first i think but extremely yeah. it <laughs> ended well you yeah know? every i literally haven't had a bad experience yet yeah so yeah, yeah I mean, what we... oh sorry go ahead no, fin- finish your thing I was going to say, when we first discussed this at the beginning of the year, we were prepared to be like, I don't know, like, we might lose some friends over this. Mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. hope we don't, but we might. Yeah. And we were kind of like, we'll just see what happens because, you know, you're going to live your best life. Uh, speaking of which, friends who are watching this who actually see and talk to my parents or people who talk to my parents, please don't say anything because I'm not out to them yet. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, Tanner watches us sometimes and... His mom and my mom hang out. Yeah. So don't tell your mom, please, <laughs> if you're watching Tanner. <laughs> Damn it, Tanner. <clears throat> my parents. Because he doesn't yeah. know yet. I haven't came out to him yet. So. Yeah, there's a couple well, of friends that don't know yet. So. I just also, that. that might well, be a pretty low stakes way to uh, let your parents know is just to get some Just send them to podcast. Just send, <laughs> send, send, send them to that. <laughs> all right next thursday when this goes out like hey guys you should watch this you should actually send them a link to our patreon yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna send them a link to our only fans <laughs> oh god yeah yeah there is uh since that episode we have created a only fans for half empty <laughs> really? so yeah you got anything on there nope so if, if you want the yet. girlfriend experience from hutch and i just let us know that's right <laughs> But yeah, um, there's nothing too really crazy about this, uh, really. Everyone's been treating it like it's normal, which I'm terribly happy about. Yeah. And um, I, there's been a couple of awkward moments. And honestly, most of the awkward <laughs> moments come from me because I still call myself Brian all yeah, the time. It is hard. <laughs> I've, known you for, I've known you for 10 years yeah. as Brian, and it's just slip of the tongue. Well, I mean, on yeah. top of that, naming yourself is an awkward situation. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. There's like, a reason why our parents do it for us. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, I, I think it might be good for you to talk a little bit about, like, what's been going through your head leading up to this. Like, what... Well, the, what have the your main concerns been? What have, what what are you feeling? The, num- the number one concern uh, when I was coming out was Brittany. Um, uh, yeah. Brittany and I, uh, we had another episode recently of where we got engaged, and a big reason as to why we got engaged is at the beginning of the year, um, we had several big talks, and one of them was me coming out as trans to her, and I was just like. So, I still want to be with you, but... And I want to get married. But, but you're I also, a lesbian now. Yeah. Yep. You're, we're lesbians now. We're lesbians. <laughs> so, um, I hope that's okay. <laughs> 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 and then on top of that, we also... Um, like, we had some big life-changing things happen to us last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them being Brittany's uh, sister passed away. And when C passed away, C was going through a lot of issues with the fact that C was a lesbian and C was queer and it was just, C was 14. C was just like going through a lot of uh, issues yeah. there. And we were constantly telling her like, it's okay, you're going to get through this. And I just, after C passed away, I felt like the biggest hypocrite for like not telling her my truth about me and not coming out to her. Yeah. And I and I just 
well, that was a that was a huge um, a huge point to be like I yeah. need to do this not just for me but just I just felt like it was wrong for me to not be that way. Yeah, I felt you, really dishonest. Had you recognized that about yourself? Um, I didn't. Re- uh, yeah, I've. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase the question. What are you asking? Like, <clears throat> I I I guess I'm curious if. So kind of kind of the the retcon of a lot of these situations is like the I've known this my whole life, but mm-hmm. I, I I guess I'm curious about like were you do you feel like you were lying to yourself? Do you feel like you were oh a hundred percent um uh so I've known I was trans since I was about. 15 16 i don't really know exactly what year but it was around that time period and i didn't decide to act on it until i was uh 24 years old uh i had done i had like cross-dressed and whatnot but that's it i didn't um but then i was about to act on it and i was i was engaging in relationships with other people um but then i met Brittany, and i ruined everything <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I was i was very much cis of uh cis forward at that point and i was just like Brittany was the most amazing person and it was just real easy for me to be like okay th- put this on the back burner because i've met someone amazing and Brittany became the focus and i wasn't a hundred percent dishonest with Brittany. what is it like four five six months into our relationship i Told you I was a cross dresser or something like that. Yeah, I think so. And like we, you, experimented you were really with that. upfront about it. Yeah. So as far as like that stuff, like it wasn't like a big surprise this January with everything. Yeah, Brittany right. knew I, I had of, feminine so tendencies. I didn't know like like how deep the rabbit hole went. Of, yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, it wasn't really that big of a surprise. I was kind of like, okay, yeah, I see how this went from A to B mm-hmm. and it makes sense and it, I kind of knew in a way all along. I was like, okay, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, honestly, I was really angry because when we were having the conversation, uh, Brittany and I were having lots and lots of conversations, very serious, deep conversations. Yeah. And um, I just straight up, we, was, we were talking about, I was telling her I want to cross dress more because it'd been like four or five years since I had cross dressed. Yeah. yeah. And and I was, uh, I don't know what, how this came about, but we were having fun talking and i was just like actually i want tits that's what i told her i was just like i want boobs. is that okay <laughs> and she was just like yeah whatever and she was like looking at her phone and barely paying attention to me and i was like wait a minute no look at me did you hear what i just said look at my eyes what i say i would like to have boobs I met real ones. That was her, her baby step into telling me that she was trans. Yeah, I was just like, uh, back up a minute. I need you to realize that this is a big question. I was like, yeah, everybody wants tits. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I, I was imagining Brittany like looking up from her phone, realizing the gravity of the situation, making eye contact, maintaining eye contact, and then with the exact same tone and cadence saying, sure, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty much That's what happened. I was so and angry. I think you too. were mad, but also relieved at the same I was, time. It was a mix of emotions <laughs> because it was like, such a big moment for me. You understand, and you just kept saying that, and I was like, "No, I get it. Do I it." <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. I fucking support you, or whatever. I was not expecting the result that I got. I uh, like uh, I a hundred percent assumed Brittany was going to leave me. I don't this. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just, just wanted to give you the like. You get yeah, I get what? it. But no, I just I was assuming the worst in yeah. all case scenarios. I mean, I think I understand that because when we were about to tell work and our friends, I also was assuming the worst. Yeah, so. and Did it was you, just yeah. I this this like I w- I would like for you to be honest in this situation. I'm really yeah. curious if you thought that Hutch and I would be on the same side, like like of I, the not being not loving so, you anymore 
you you two I, I'm not, I wasn't worried about at all uh, okay. which is funny because the reason I brought it up to you two at the same time is because you were talking about you felt like you were transphobic at one time and yeah. I was like speaking of wits <laughs> surprise <laughs> it was a really good tee up and um, yeah I like I, I did but no I wasn't worried I about either of you met a couple of people who were fucking terrible and mm-hmm. I thought that like like I I crossed the wires in my head of not liking them as humans. I mm. did the exact same thing if that makes you feel any better. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I think like uh previous to like this past year I've met a lot more trans people and uh, I my have too. my experience and my experiences with yeah. them have been way more positive. So I, that was a big, like, moving forward moment. Yeah. Um, have you reached out to that coworker that I gave you the number of? I have, I have not at all. But I recently I found out that the lead creative designer at uh, Ubisoft is a trans woman. We recently became friends. Nice. So, Yeah, my, my coworker was one of the people, because they... They did the I would like boobs to me, mm-hmm. but it was like at a bar, and yeah, yeah, it was also a coworker that I don't work directly with. So it was okay. it was just kind of this like I'm going to test the waters with people in this company that I work for mm-hmm. on, on her side. So it was. And, sorry, go. Ahead. So I, 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 do they have like a significant other or anything, or are they just testing the waters for their friends or like quasi? No, they were they were. Not? trying to get because the company that i work for is very liberal but there's also yeah. like a weird conservative streak in it i um, mean we're still in the south yeah <laughs> yeah i i think she was just testing the waters and working up the courage to do it on a larger scale yeah um, that's fair and like then she did and she's had one of the best years of her life since then so when I, 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 might, like, I, I might, I might, I oh, might talk to her about that since then because that's kind of my experience mm-hmm. too. I feel like everyone else's experience has been this is very sudden and this is very like turn like a light switch experience for most people. But, but for, for me, you, it's been, it feels it's, like you can be yourself. You feel yeah. like a weight lifting. Yeah, um, it feels very gradual actually oh. for me. Mm-hmm. But oh, okay. it also, it feels it feels well mostly just because like. There's so much more processes than just like uh, now I can wear makeup and put on a dress. Great, yeah, of course that's that's a big change, but like f- physically, there's a lot more long, long drawn out processes. Yeah. So that yeah. part about it and the emotional part about it are extremely gradual. So I kind of get like putting your toes out and trying to feel like with people and spending being more gradual about that as well yeah and and that was kind of what i saw when you did Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah you and uh hutch were the first people to know besides Brittany. yeah so i I, yeah we were number two we're number (laughs) two or three i guess Yeah, so so it was it was kind of weird for me when you when you told us because you just you just kind of said I'm trans and I my first thought was what since when because because we've lived <laughs> together for 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 what three years or whatever yeah yeah <laughs> I was like did I miss something here? I um so and this is uh no ill will towards you at all Hutch. But a, a big reason why I hadn't cross-dressed or done anything was because I did live with you. And yeah. Yeah. a lot of people saw the most masculine version of me while I lived with you. That's what, it's, uh, it's when I grew out a beard. I want to give myself a little extra time. I grew out a beard. I did a bunch of other stuff. <clears throat> and I just was just like, okay, I had given up on transitioning i was just like i uh, i it's not going to happen and i moved forward with okay this is we're just going to do this now this is who i we am you got really depressed i got extremely depressed yeah um and just 
I don't know, moving here, when we got on our own, I felt more comfortable with the idea of cross-dressing again. And then everything happened with Brittany's family and just like, there was no time for it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, so. and Hutch, I had a like similar mental response to that, the kind of, and, and I think it comes from a good place. I think it comes from like a, a place of loving and caring of like, I felt guilty. I felt guilty when uh, I'm going to use past names when Brian told me that and Brian became Michelle um, because I felt like as a good friend, I should have known or noticed or figured it. But I, I, as I've been talking to other people about it, it's not a thing that you should like it's it's mm. not yeah we don't we like, don't look at people around us and say like how are you lying to yourself yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah i don't think you should feel any guilt about that because yeah. um like uh, i think for a while like i mean i say that i had kind of always known when i connect the dots but i didn't know either you know you didn't and, assume yeah so you know, and I think that's the thing. I was doing my damnedest to make sure that no one could assume. Yeah, like I did. Yeah. Like I was lying to myself, but I was lying to everyone mm-hmm. as well. Like I was presenting myself as someone who I did not feel like. Now, granted, I um, uh, that wasn't saying that I wasn't like being myself, but I was doing it in like a tonal change that wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? You were yeah. being a mirror version of yourself. Yeah, yeah. I was just kind of, I was kind of like acting. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. it was really strange. And uh, we're <laughs> Frank is walking in front of everything right now. So that's great. Nope, he's getting down right before he walks right, in front of the camera. Okay, great. So that you look like a big liar. <laughs> uh, you can just see, he'll, he'll, everyone will just see the, his cat ass. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, it's a. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a weird situation to be in. I feel bad for putting people through it. Um, no, and I'm hoping don't. like I'm, I, I'm feeling I, I feel like by 2021 Frank just said fuck your table. Um, <laughs> we're going to be past this and it'll feel more comfortable and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I feel honestly I'm this might be really strange but I'm really thankful for the quarantine right now because mm-hmm. I'm in my most awkward moment of being out full time and i'm hoping by the time i get back to work and get back to seeing people and whatnot i'll feel more confident being myself yeah. by that Which do you I, mean you will have gone through second puberty what i, I didn't hear what you said you cut out oh sorry i i said by that you mean you will have gone through second puberty oh yeah well not come through but i definitely have <laughs> started it significantly yeah um uh, unless this goes for a year or so, I don't know. But like, we're definitely open to any questions or anything, mm-hmm. and like we we know it's weird and awkward, and we we make jokes about it. <laughs> we make a lot of jokes about are. it. <laughs> yeah. So, well, actually, uh, my, fir- my first my first night out was with Jarrison Hutch. Yeah. Fucking so. long time, and like you know, I I think the four of us deal with heavy situations with jokes to a lot of degrees um yeah but yeah like if if fucking smash that like comment and subscribe button and if you have any questions (laughs) yeah we'll answer them (laughs) and i will be answering any questions anybody has in the comments yeah well we have a host of perspectives we have person who's transitioning we have partner of person who's transitioning and we have friends of person who's transitioning yeah, yeah, so plenty of uh, opportunities. And honestly, with that, the timer's about to go off. Let's get out of here, guys. All right, yeah, let's yeah. do Everyone some more. remember to eat the rich and don't die for the stock exchange. Yeah, stay Hell home yeah. and yes. don't die for the stock exchange. Wash your hands, you filthy animals. <laughs> yeah, garbage people. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye, nerds. Sorry I can't see you in person. Uh, it's okay i don't want to kill you so <laughs> i appreciate that <laughs> that's way better than you wanting to kill me yeah 